So first thing we have to check whether our database is active active or not. Okay. Okay. For that you can issue the command DB2 list active databases. Databases. You know, the, you have to uh, switch to DB2 INST because with this command has to be executed by the instance owner. Now we are in root. Yeah. No, DB2 INST one. Okay. Now issue the command. The same command. DB2 list active databases. So it is result here. No data was returned by the database system monitor. Okay. That is means that means there is no database is active. Okay. So database is active in the sense that the database is, is ready for the read and write operation. So okay. in DB2, the database can be activated in two methods. Okay. One is that we can issue a command DB2 activate database, then the database name. Okay. So that means he, you are giving an explicit command for activating the database. Okay. The other method is that when you are making the first connection to the database, the database will automatically getting activated. Okay. Fine. So uh, you can uh, you can activate the database. By, uh, so what was the database name we are having? My DB. My, my DB. My DB. My DB. Okay. So you can issue the command DB2 activate okay. database my DB. Okay. Just like connect, it is activate. Yeah. Activate. Data. No, activate database. Database. Spelling mistake. No, no. Activate database. Database name. Just so my yeah. My so DB. my DB. Okay, database. Now we can say that the database is activated. Okay. Okay. Now uh, you can again issue the command uh, DB2 list active databases. Now it shows that my DB is the activated one. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think we have one more database is there. Uh, just give list DB directory DB2 list DB directory. Yes, so my DB2. My DB2 is there, but uh, it is not showing in the list of the active databases. Okay. Right. Now we will see how to activate the database by by connecting to the database. So okay. you should the command DB2 connect it to my DB2. Now again issue the command DB2 list active databases. So now you can see that my what? DB and my DB2 are active. That means you can activate a database explicitly by uh, connecting to the, connecting to the the database. database. That is one option. Other okay. one is that you can issue the command db2 activate, activate data database. Okay. Fine. Okay. Now let us see how to deactivate a database. The command will be db2 deactivate database then the database name. Just activating means just... Uh, see a database should be isn't? activated that means the memory what we are allocated to the database okay. and the background process that process is real, uh, will be okay. started. Okay, just starting the yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's equal to it's a, equal to no instance is started. Instance that, started and okay. Uh, the DB2 SYSC process when it's showing that means the instance but is actually started. in uh, instance is uh, as you told it's both memory and process right uh, together. Yeah. yeah, there are certain processes which are uh, specific for the instances, and okay. there are certain background processes which are specific for the database also. Okay. Okay. So that means you started the instance, but you have okay. not started any database uh, running on that instance. Okay. So, okay. so okay. when you are telling that DB2 activated database means you are starting the database associated with that particular uh, uh, data instance. instance uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. For that we have to give it separation. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to deactivate database, the, the deactivation of the database also coming in two methods. First thing is that, uh, uh, hold on, um, f now you what you have, we have already connected to a database name. That is my DB2 you are already connected. Mm -hmm. Right? So. Mm -hmm. The deactivation is also taking place on the reverse of how the activation is taking place. Okay. That means if you want to deactivate the database, okay. you can issue the command db2 
deactivate database the database name that is a explicit deactivation okay okay other method is that when you are disconnecting when the last connection to your database is disconnected then the the database will automatically gets deactivated okay okay so let's uh, before proceeding let's issue a command uh, we will find out which are the connections act uh, connectly activated to, connected to a database okay. which are how many connections are are there to the database so you mm -hmm. can issue the command db2 list applications you yes, can see that there is only one connection uh, to the database my db2 okay okay and that is the connection which you which happened when you connected to my db2 the previous command we have we have given db2 connected to my db2 we uh, explicitly activate we mean we connected to the database and made it active so that okay. is the connection it's, it's connected to the database now okay, okay. now okay. let's disconnect from uh, the database and then again uh, we'll see whether any uh, that particular database is active or not Okay. so there is there is only one connection to a database and we will disconnect from there okay so the command will be db2 space terminate no it's not disconnect db2 space terminate, terminate. Yeah. just db2 terminate db2 terminate so at the time whatever the connection that you made to a particular database will get terminated okay. yeah but when when we give db2 terminate mm -hmm. only the database there is only one database uh, my db2 with uh, no actually we are inside uh, my db2 now it's connected only that's correct so okay, you are so already are... connected when okay. you are giving db2 terminate the connection will get terminated okay from my that's db2. all don't okay. get confused that it's not going to terminate anything it's not going to connect, uh, terminate a database or it's not going to terminate any instance also but okay. if the connection is the last connection to a database then the database will get deactivated oh like that yeah show the command okay now again uh, just issue the command list active databases list active okay uh, yeah so it should be now in now you can see that the my, my db2, db2 database is, is not there because okay. it's the, the last connection to the database is terminated so that there is no need for the database to up and running so the database will become deactivated aut automatically okay okay now if you want to deactivate the database explicitly you can issue so when we give db2 db terminate uh, uh, the application db2 bp or something yeah uh, that got uh, disconnected from yeah you, you can db2. yeah you can uh, confirm with the db2 list applications also again issue, issue the command db2 list applications you can see that there is no data uh, written by the data because there is no connection to any of the databases okay fine okay yeah now if you want to deactivate the database explicitly you can issue the command db2 deactivate database then the database name okay again confirm with the db2 list active databases okay okay so db2 activate database and db2 deactivate database are the commands that is used for stopping and starting an a database okay but still our instance is up and running okay. right mm -hmm. now we should uh, learn how to stop a data uh, instance and how to start an instance okay on the part which we covered as only uh, deactivating activating uh, databases database. now, okay yeah. instance so now we are going to activate and uh, sorry stop and st the start start an instance, instance. Okay. so the instance can be stopped by the command db2 stop a single word no single word single command it's a single command there is no space over there yeah db2 stop okay it is says that the db2 stop processing was successful okay now again issue the command ps hyphen ef grep hyphen i db2 syc and check whether that instance is running no db2 sysc we are going to check for the system oh, control system process. control yes it is no it is not there right say it is what is showing is that it is the grep command that you should 
It is not showing that DB2 SYC, oh, yes, yes. SYC yes. control the process. Okay. Otherwise, it would have showed. Uh, yeah, you can scroll up and you can see that how was uh, the, how was the output. Yeah. There itself. Mm -hmm. You can see that. Yeah. If it is, okay. it was showing us DB2 SYC and uh, it was showing a zero. That means it was a zero. first mm -hmm. uh, process that started. Started. Okay. Now we can start the instance by issuing the command DB2 start. Just DB2 start and yeah. stop. Yeah. It says that the DB2 start was successful. Now you can confirm with again with the process uh, verification command. Okay. Now it's clear, right? The process is showing there. Okay. Fine? Okay. It's 